Blue Marlin, Hot B, 1992. That's the title? That's it? Just plain text? The game opens with what I guess is a loose story about marlin fishing. As if this really needs explaining. Ah, okay. There's a better looking screen. So we enter our name for some reason. And we're introduced to a fishing area. Florida. So in the boat we can choose which destination we want to go to. Cape Canaveral, Palm Beach, or Miami. So I'll take Cape Canaveral. And it changes to a top-down view when we're driving around in a boat. I don't really know what I'm doing. I see a couple of schools of fish, but anytime I get close enough, they scatter. If I push select, we get all these variables we can change. The line, line length, lure, depth. So there's a few things to think about. So finally I'm able to get a bite. And now we're on a screen where again I have no idea what's going on. Each direction makes me move differently. If I hold the A button, I reel in the line. So what is this vitality? Is that mine or the fish? Oh, snap. Well, I guess I was doing it wrong. Okay, I got another bite. Hear that sound? That means the line's about to snap. So you have to let off the reel, but then the fish just gets away. I guess there's some dumbass way to make this work, but I get the feeling if I actually caught one, I would just feel disappointed anyway. The game has different variables to play with, which is probably good for people who are really into this kind of stuff. But that seems to be what I can't shake off about this game. I don't really imagine that people that are this much into fishing in real life are the kind of people who would play video games. I'm sure the Venn diagram has a sliver of line where these cross over, but for the most part, this game misses the mark. 3 out of 10.